Well, Michigan is being hit with so many new COVID cases right now that hospitals are running out of space to treat them. The state is leading the U.S. in new infections, with nearly 9,000 reported yesterday alone. That is the second highest single day number in Michigan since the pandemic began. John Fox is the CEO of the state's largest health care provider, Beaumont Health, and he joins me now. John, you were sounding the alarm. Why? Well, Pam, it's a very serious situation up here in Michigan. We are now in our third surge across the state, uh, which is obviously a tragedy for patients and families fighting the disease and dealing with the mortality. It's also our 13th month of fighting the pandemic for our frontline healthcare heroes. Uh, they're exhausted, they are tired. We are asking them to dig deep and now for three surges, uh, and it's a very difficult situation for them. So we are trying to manage our way through this. I think we're doing pretty well, but it is a struggle and it has changed rapidly. Why, you think? Why is this happening in Michigan right now? We think that there are multiple factors. One, uh, we believe the overall infection rate in Michigan was lower during the pandemic to date. Uh, secondly, Michigan opened up recently, about eight, 10 weeks ago, with various orders being relieved. And everyone's tired of being these shelter in place orders mm -hmm. or these restrictions. So we appreciate that. But unfortunately, I think people have dropped their uh, infection control issues. They're not wearing their masks as much as they should, social distancing, hand hygiene. Uh, and very importantly, we really have a new COVID virus variant, the B117 from the UK. That was really not present in our first or second surge in 2020, but it is dominating the infections now. It is much more infectious. And the way we can see that is our positivity rate on the patients we test every day. And we do about 2000 patients a, a week for COVID testing. We were running 5% of those tests being positive 30 days ago, mm -hmm. it has now jumped to 20%. And so that and really you're probably means seeing younger people in the hospital community. too, right? You're, you're seeing younger people end up in the ER than what you saw in the past surges, right? We, it definitely, the actually the vaccine penetration rate amongst the elderly, those 65 and older has gone pretty well. So that means that it's really younger people who are being infected with the B117 mm -hmm. variant. And it really is uh, presenting in all of our uh, ERs and frankly, in our inpatient units. We're, we're treating younger patients than we ever saw before. That is frightening. We're gonna to talk to a young patient actually later in the show who had COVID. You mentioned, you know, people are tired of wearing the mask and being on lockdown and so forth, but guess what? Who else is tired? These healthcare workers who have been doing this for, as you pointed out, 13 months, how are they holding up? Uh, they're doing well, but it's tough. I mean, we're doing everything we can to help them, and we are bending any of our rules that they think might be in the way for being flexible. Uh, we now have you know, reinstituted food trucks coming back to all of our hospitals. We are bringing in extra staff uh, and, frankly, doing everything that we can. Uh, and I have a big ask. I would ask uh, anyone listening to this, to please reach out and thank your local healthcare workers who are dealing with the pandemic. Again, 13 months is a long time to be dominated by this one disease. Oh, it certainly is. John Fox, thank you for putting it all into perspective for where things stand there in the state of Michigan and something we all need to pay attention to because it could happen elsewhere as well. Thank you. Thank you.